Hi, I don't know about you, but I love my Flare espresso machine. And I thought there's just not enough Flare videos on YouTube. So here's another one. What I'm gonna to answer today is the question of how long does it take to make two lattes using a flare, given that you have to muck around with separate bits and pieces. So I've got one uh, heating vessel, I've got two of these porter filters. So I'm gonna fill them both up and then whisk through the whole process. And I've got a timer set up here. So I'll press the start button and we're off. I'll start by getting uh, 600 mils of water, 500 mils of water and boiling it. So I'm not going to cut corners by measuring things out beforehand. I'll just show you the whole process and how long it takes me. Uh, so the next step is to weigh out some beans. Okay. This is 14 grams of beans. These are Kenyan beans that come from my cuppa, which is a nice place to buy coffee in Melbourne. Uh, and I'm all weighed up, ready for the next one. And now we grind. This is using a commandante grinder. Okay, that's the first lot done. So we load up our filter with a little funnel. Tamp it down. Not too hard. Put the shower screen in. And we'd be ready for the first one. So now we need to heat our brew chamber. So what I do I use the plunger, I put it in here and put that in the sink, put some boiling water in it and now we're preheating. Okay, ready to grind for the second cup. What are we at? 3 minutes 15. This is actually quite fun with these great grinders. Okay, done.
now I'm going for a second heat. So I, I just lift this to let the water out. Load him up again for another heat. And now I'll get some milk. So this milk method works amazingly well. So got my milk, I microwave it for a minute and a half, minute 20. chamber on. So what I've found with the flare is that success is largely governed by how well you preheat and how quick you get that boiling water straight in. So I pre-infuse lightly for about 10 seconds and we hit it hard and then I just slowly back off the pressure a little bit as we go. Second glass. Put the porta filter on, brew chamber, just reheat the water. Fill her up. Ready for number two. So Flair recommends that you get two whole brew heads. I think just getting two of the filters is enough so that you can fill them up. The head's already hot from the usage before. You can handle it quite easily with the little silicon cover that they've got on the brew head. Okay, so now we've got two shots done. Next step is to texture the milk. So when I texture the milk, I do three or four full strokes. So let's go one, two, three, four. And then about 50 to 80 half strokes. for the next cup. My um, French press is quite small so I can only do one cup at a time. With a large French press this would be quicker. I'll give it a swell before I put it in the microwave. Okay, and now we see how well I've textured this milk. It actually looks good. Nice and silky, I can see the reflection of the lights in it. Let's do a pour. I'm a bit nervous, but anyway, there's one done. Second milk, we can tidy up a little bit if we want to while we're here. Might even blow out this.
Second one's done. So we'll do another one, two, three, four. Sometimes it helps to work it a little bit. There's our time going still. Yep. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll just do a heart this time. Okay, so there we have it. So that was just over 11 minutes to do two cuppers. Now, I've tried with my machine here how long it takes to do two cups. It takes about two and a half minutes to warm up, then I've got to, you know, do my, get my grinds ready, prepare. Uh, I can actually do, with this I can do a double, I can do two shots at once. It's not quite as strong as this, but it's uh, not bad. And that whole process takes about seven and a half minutes. Whereas this process, 11 minutes. And this is much, much cheaper. And the result, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I'll take the camera off and show you a bit closer what it looks like. You can see there's a nice amount of foam on the top. Um, there's a bit of reflected light off the heart, so that's pretty good, I think. So there you have it. Compared to a machine that cost, well, well over a thousand dollars and an expensive grinder, what we have here is Commandant Grinder, Commandante. Um, which was under three hundred dollars. We've got a flare. This is the this is the uh, older model, um, and it again was only a few hundred dollars. For that setup, you can have a really nice cupper, really good quality, um, and it just takes a few more minutes than this machine. And there's nothing to go wrong on this. There's nothing to fail. This is going to last for a very long time. So it's a pretty good option, I think. And as you get better, you'll be able to make two copies, copies uh, much faster than what I've done. So tell me what you think. <laughs> Cheers.